Hi, I'm Francis Buckley, and welcome back to Studio Rescue. Now, last week, we went to Kevin Estrada's house. He had a big room to work with. Now, yes, he did have his problems in there, and we got them all solved, but it was a nice big room. Well, this week, we got a message from Glenn Smith, and his place is really small, and it's going to present its own set of problems. But not anything that we can't get past. So, let's go rescue Glenn's studio. Hey, Glenn. Hey. How are you, man? I'm pretty good. good. Glad you can make it. Got your message. Here you're having some problems here in your studio, huh? Yeah, just a couple. Uh, yeah. First off, the acoustics are everywhere. Uh, right. The bass, I have bass problems. Just, I don't know. You tell me. Right. You're the expert. Right. Yeah. Um, whenever I do a mix, I get it in here. I take it out to a bigger studio. The bottom end is either too big or it's not there at all. Right. It's not what you it's not what you hear here. Yeah. Right. And the top end, mm -hmm. too crispy or too soft. Okay. So Okay. Right. Yeah. Uh, other than that, ah kind of claustrophobic in there too. Yeah, it, it's it's a little small, yeah. you know. But you know, this is a typical bedroom studio and this is where guys are making records nowadays you know okay. but that's not going to stop us from getting this put together i could see you know you kind of you're kind of in the right spot i don't think there'd be anywhere else that we could move this that would get you more out of it i see you got the big screen over there yeah i think we'll take the big screen and we'll get it mounted up on the wall perfect that way it can be part of your computer system as well um you know we'll get a couple of panels on the wall and um, we'll get this place happening okay. so let's do it man let's rescue glenn studio of course, the first thing any studio rescuer needs is toolbox. So I think the first thing we'll do is we'll take this hutch off. That way it'll give us some space behind the desk to hang the big screen. Now I'm going to try to take it off of here without destroying Glenn's monitor. Whoops, careful there, buddy. Don't forget to read the owner's manual. Boy, that room is so small we barely had room to change our mind. Now that we got the big screen mounted, let's go ahead and get these speakers set up properly. As you can see, what I'm doing is making sure that they're set at the right height. Glenn's ears should be right in between the woofer and the tweeter. And then of course, I'm gonna get my tape measure and I'm gonna measure from the cone of one speaker to the cone of the other and use that measurement to measure out to Glenn's ears. Now you can see he's a little bit in front of the triangle. So we're going to scooch him back a little bit. And then what you could do is, is pull this out a little bit. Yeah. You know, also that gives you a little bit further throw to the screen. You're not quite right on top of it. All right, with the big screen in place and the speakers where they should be, let's get to those panels. See, the best thing is that this could go, but you know, who knows, maybe you might put it over there or... I hang the panels using Velcro because the panels are really light and the Velcro works great to help you get the panel exactly where you want it to go. Now let's see if we can get Glenn to hang his panel in the right place on the other wall. Wow. Yeah. This looks great. Yeah, man. I think we, uh, we utilized the space the best we could. Yeah. We got your panels on the walls. We got your big screen mounted. Of course. We got your speakers up where they should be, nicely separated. Even got a place for your keyboard now. Oh yeah. You know, uh, and I think you're you're pretty much ready to rock, man. Thank you. You know. So why don't you do this? Why don't you get it all fired up? And make sure everything is working. Okay. And I'll be right back. Great. This is a Rode NT2A microphone, and this is for you. Thank you. For allowing us to come in and rescue your studio. That is amazing. This it's is the Rode beautiful. NT2A. This is one of the most versatile mics that you'll ever use. Really? I've used it on drums, voices, guitars, just about everything. Okay, It comes with the three polar patterns, the two roll-offs, and the two, mic the two pads. And it's got this really trick uh, shock mount that it has. It's got the built-in windscreen. Nice that you can, you can get it set at various different angles. It like tweaks out so it can raise up and down. Nice. You know, and uh, it's, this thing is really cool. And then it comes with one other little thing from our good friends at Vicoustics who also provided us with the, with the foam panels is this, a flexi screen light. And it goes on the back 
and forms a little vocal break. There it is, man. Your studio is up and running. Thank you. Make some great music. I want to hear some good stuff out of here. Okay. And Glenn's studio has been rescued. Get yourself to work and we'll see you soon. All right. Well, like I said, the room wasn't very big, but we made the most of it. We got the big screen mounted on the wall, got his keyboard set up right, speakers in the right place, the acoustic treatment, and I think we got everything we could out of it. And thanks, Glenn, for letting us come out and rescue your studio. Thanks again to Vicoustics for the acoustic material and the boys at Rode Microphone for that lovely NT2A microphone. I'm Francis Buckley. See you again on Studio Rescue. And if your studio is in need of a rescue, just log on to rodemic.com slash studio rescue and we'll see what we can do for you. <laughs>